guys, I'm Pokemon Tanya 6 and welcome back to a brand new video. So today, I wanted to give you guys sort of like a throwback kind of video. See, back in the day on my channel, I used to do these videos where I would show you guys my game collection for certain consoles that I owned or that I used to own. So today, I figured I'd give you guys an updated version of my PlayStation 2 collection. Now, I try to go back on my channel to find out how long it's been since I've done a PlayStation 2 video game collection video and I could not get the video searched up. I don't know if I private it or not, because I did private a lot of my old school videos because of the whole, uh, I think it was COPPA? I think, it, I think that's what it was back then. So I don't exactly know when I shot that video and how long it's been, but I can guarantee you that video was probably shot when I was in high school. So without further ado, I'll give you guys the updated version of my collection because throughout that time I have gained some video games and then I've also lost some video games. Back then I've sold video games for money, I've even sold consoles for money. Do I regret it? Yes, but in some way no because at certain times in my life I desperately needed money to like buy food and all sorts of other stuff. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in the video. All right, so the first game on the list, I'm sure you guys will probably remember this if you're old school Pokemon 1086 fans, is Ben 10 Protector of Earth. This is a really good, really good game. It's a lot of fun. This is definitely a game you can play with like some friends or something. If, and me, personally, I'm a big Ben 10 fan. I love Ben 10, especially the original one. I liked it. I liked that one and Ultimate Alien. Those were probably my two favorite out of the series. Uh, it was created by Man of Creation. It's a really good series. I remember I begged my mom for this game and you know she was like oh no you gotta earn it and I remember I read a book and I did a book report like not for school but for her just to earn you know money to get the game and I remember the first day I got it I spent 14 hours playing it, and then the second day I got it, I spent 16 hours. Overall, really good game. If you like Ben 10, and if you just want a game, like a PlayStation 2 game, like a really fun one that you can play, this is that one, especially like for multiplayer stuff too, because there are some levels where you're definitely gonna need some multiplayer action. All right, next up on the list is Crash Nitro Kart. Now this is the old school version of the one that is now revamped called Crash Team Racing Nitro Field. That one, I do have that one on the Xbox One, but this is the original one on the PlayStation 2. This one was, pro was like one of the first few games I got when I got my PlayStation 2. And I was a late bloomer to get into PlayStation 2. I didn't get one until I was in fifth grade. And by that time, I believe the PlayStation 3 either just came out or it was announced and it was getting ready to release. You know, that's how it was with a lot of consoles. I was a late bloomer to a lot of consoles. But this game is a lot of fun. This is definitely another one of those multiplayer games that you can sit there and play with a group of friends, especially if you want to have like a retro night. And I know some people are going to look at the PlayStation 2 and be like, oh, that's not that old. If you're talking retro, you know, play Atari or Nintendo 64 or Super Nintendo or something like that. Me personally, I consider the PlayStation 2 retro and I consider that Crash game probably one of the best Crash games for the console. And it's also on, you know, Xbox, PlayStation 2. I mean, I already said that. It's on Xbox and it's also on uh, GameCube. But really fun game. Uh, graphics weren't that bad. Graphics were pretty decent. Definitely recommend it. Next one on the list is Crash of the Titans. Now this one, um, if you remember back in the day when I had a multiplayer gaming channel with my friends, I believe it was on that one. It was called A Thousand Year Playthroughs. Me and uh, my best friend uh, who, go, who went by Jack Ichigo's 100. We did a playthrough of this game. We didn't finish it but we have numerous videos up. This game was fun, but it it will piss you the f off, I swear. There are levels in this that are really hard and it's just really obnoxious to kind of get through. But overall for a Crash Bandicoot game, the graphics were really good. And this was around the time where like, they were just pumping out Crash Bandicoot games. What is this, Radical Entertainment and Sahara? Yeah, they were pumping out. I think it was, I don't know if it was just them I don't know if they did this and the other ones, but like I said, this was around the time where this and 
Crash, Mind Over Mutants came out. Those two came out, I believe, within the same year, and it was like the same concept where you basically use the Uka Uka mask and you control Titans in this one, and the other one you control mutants. Overall, this game was really fun. There's a lot of enemies, a lot of stuff you can use in this, a lot of monsters. Next up on the list is Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2. What's funny is I barely played this. I know, and I'm a huge huge Dragon Ball Z fan and I have barely played this game and the only reason for that is because I I don't know I just tried to play it and it was just like I was just like I guess in some sort of funk but basically this is this is just basically Budokai Tenkaichi 3 all the same characters are in it story mode all that stuff is basically the same uh graphics are basically almost the same same concept i like the game i mean i played it a few times i can't say i only played it once i played it a few times i liked it but not as much as the third one the third one is us oh, a slap which speaking of the third one bam dragon ball z budokai tenkaichi 3 now this one on my 12th birthday this is my favorite video game of all time I love Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. I can't tell you how many times I've beaten Dragon History. I can't tell you how many times I played this game religiously, tried to get all the coup not coupons, try to get all the characters unlocked, the special characters, putting in basically cheat codes to get those characters, spending countless nights staying up, pulling all-nighters playing this game. But I'm going to save this for a different video. But let me just tell you that if you're a dra any Dragon Ball Z fan, I guarantee you owns this and owns Budokai Tenkaichi 2. Like, if you don't own these two, then you at least own, what, this and Infinite World. And I wish I owned Infinite World, because that one was just as good as this. But this is the game. This is the mother game. And I can't stress that enough. All right, next up on the list is Dynasty Warriors 4. Now, I grew up playing the Dynasty Warriors games on the PlayStation. These were actually really fun. And I don't know what it was about Dynasty Warriors, but it was just like, it was something about the mechanics. And then I think just slicing and dicing groups of people and just basically doing like, just doing that kind of stuff. It was, I don't know. I really can't describe what made me love Dynasty Warriors as a kid. But I played this one especially a lot. And the third one. And the fifth one. I don't know. Something about Dynasty Warriors. I just really liked. And I like I said, I can't really tell you guys why, but I just really like Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> Excuse me, Dynasty Warriors. Alright. Next one on the list. Uh I didn't play this. My homeboy got this for me. Uh Genji Dawn of a Samurai. Apparently this game was like big back in the day but like it didn't get a lot of buzz because it wasn't like favorited by critics you know or players alike i don't know i saw my friend play it and it looked it's, it was different it looked different for a playstation game it was like almost as like it should have been on the playstation 3 and it would have made more sense but then there is a sequel to this game on the ps3 if this was on the ps3 it would make more sense but for this for what i saw it was different for a ps2 game i believe and at the time it was different too, so maybe that's why I didn't get a lot of buzz. I never played it. I eventually will get around to playing it. Next one is one of my favorites that I played, and this is Steel Sealed. Like I haven't opened this. Looney Tunes Acme Ash Acme Acne Asriel or Arsenal. Acne Arsenal. I can never pronounce the title of this. But I used to play this game a lot as a kid on the PlayStation 2. This was actually a really fun game. I never beat it. But I gotten like halfway through the game. And it's this one is sealed because this is my second copy of the game. I had it on the PS2 originally, but I think my copy broke or something happened to it to where it stopped working. So I went to one of my local, you know, retro game stores here and I picked up another copy. And I still haven't opened it, but I need to because I really want to replay this game. It's a lot of fun. I'm a big Looney Tunes fan. I love Bugs, Daffy, Taz, Sylvester, Marvin the Martian, all of them. You get to play as all these classical characters and really goofy creative missions and just have a ball. All right, next one is the Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Mega Man, come on now, you can't, you, you tripping if you ain't got the Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Now there's so many Mega Man collections, you know, you got some for the newer consoles and then you got some for the old ones. This is one of them. 
And this is fun because as a kid, I never really grew up playing Mega Man or Mega Man X. So it was kind of nice to get my hands on it because then I got to experience what other kids and even some of my friends got to experience with playing Mega Man and the struggles, or should I say the trials and tribulations of playing a lot of these Mega Man games. It's like it has the original Mega Man 1 through 8 on here, a couple of never before seen ones too. So it's kind of nice to kind of get that collection. And yes, I did read that on the back because I didn't know that. And I didn't even know this thing has a lot of stuff. It has 10 Mega Man games on one disc, footage from the original Mega Man TV series. I didn't, and oh, shit, I didn't know it had that on here. That's pretty dope. I knew there was an old Mega Man series, so I might check that out, but this is really nice. I'm kind of glad I have this to my collection. Mega Man X collection. Didn't really, like I said, get a chance to experience fun with playing Mega Man and Mega Man X. It was kind of nice. I prefer the Mega Man X games. Really fun. You know, Mega Man Zero, the whole crew. It's really nice. I'm just looking at the artwork on the back. Mega Man is definitely, it, it was different because I grew up playing stuff, you know, like Crash Bandicoot, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z. But I was more on like the kiddish side where I played like Mario and Sonic and Crash Bandicoot and Ratchet and Clank and Tony Hawk games, you know, stuff like that. That's the kind of stuff I grew up playing. So I didn't really get into like playing Mega Man and all these other harder games until like middle school or high school. Next one on the list is one of my favorite PlayStation 2 games and one of my favorite franchises and that is Ratchet and Clank. Now I own this one and then I have, you know, for my, if you see my PlayStation 4, video game collection, you know I have the, the movie video game, or the video game is based on the movie that was released, I think in like 2016, I think it was. This game is a lot of fun. It's, it's a fun game. What I really like is the graphics. I love the graphics. I love the gadgets. I love the mechanics. I can't stress this enough. If you have not played Ratchet and Clank, you're missing out. You're really missing out because this is a really good series. A really, really good series. This game in particular is so much fun. I watched my best friend play it. I liked it so much I got my own copy because it's like this was like the jam. All right, Ratchet Deadlock. <laughs> Once again, if you have not played Ratchet and Clank, I'll forgive you. But if you haven't picked up Ratchet Deadlock, you tripping. You Omega tripping. Because Ratchet Deadlock is the jam. I have numerous friends who have played Ratchet Deadlock. I used to watch them play it. I played this game. It is so much fun. So much fun. And this is like further along within the Ratchet and Clank series. And oh, the, the, the graphics, the weapons, just everything, everything about this game just screams amazing. Definitely a game you gotta have to your collection. We're getting closer to the bottom of the list. We got a few more left, or, well, kinda. Power Rangers Super Legends. Now, I'm a big Power Rangers fan. I love Power Rangers. And this is definitely one of those games that I would recommend playing, at least, especially with friends. This is a definitely a good co-op game to play with some friends, especially if you have friends that like Power Rangers. Oh yeah, this is definitely a game to play. I've had videos on my channel about on this game, actually. I have numerous videos some uh, quite a bit of them that are in the thousands of views from power ranger super legends because i used to play this game a lot on my channel and i think i got halfway through the game on my channel or at least a little bit further than halfway i actually almost beat this game numerous times but there have been issues to where you know oh the memory card didn't save it or oh the game froze you gotta start over i am determined to beat power ranger super legends Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, the sequel to Sonic Riders. This one was released, I just believe, on the PlayStation 2, uh, I think the Wii and the Xbox 360, I think, I can't quite remember. I got this game in fifth grade. Uh, actually, no, I, I got this game for graduating elementary school. Cause you know, when you sometimes, when you, gra when you, when you graduate elementary school, they had a little ceremony and stuff. My mom let me pick out one game that I wanted. I chose this and oddly enough, before I even really got the chance to play it, the game broke. I prefer Sonic Riders over Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, but I will say I prefer Sonic Riders Zero Gravity over the one that they had on the Xbox Connect because that one was just trash. All right, next one is uh, a Sonic game that not a lot of people really liked. I know it was like half and half. Some people really liked it and then some people hated it. And that is Sonic Unleashed. Overall, this game is okay. Why the fuck you lying? I mean, the werewolf missions are like, 
eh. The Sonic missions were not that bad, but like, I would say this isn't one of my favorite Sonic games. It's better than Sonic 06, but like, it's it's not worth it. It's really not. And I, I'm just being honest. It's really not worth the hassle of trying to get for your collection. Now, this next one is another franchise that I got into from a friend of mine, and it's really good. And that is Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. It's really fun. It's a really fun little RPG, you know. There's Sly versus Hector and Bentley, octopus in a wheelchair with the gadgets and stuff, and then the little big hippo, pink hippo. It's a really fun game. I know they were gonna make a movie out of this, but it got put in the vault in Sony Animation Studios. I don't know why, but there's there's an HD collection of this game. There's like three games in the series. It's really fun. I liked it enough to where I was like, Shit. I kind of want to play it on the original consoles, so that's what I did. I got the first one on the original, and haven't looked back. Why the fuck you lying? <gasps> Next on the list is Thrillville. Now, Thrillville, I had videos, I believe, on my YouTube channel of me playing Thrillville. And Thrillville actually was one of these games that I used to play religiously that I liked a lot. Because, you know, it was one of those games where you can, like, make your character throw up, you can hit on girls... You can create roller coasters. It was like every pre-teens pre dream game wrapped in one. I didn't get the sequel off the rails, but and I just might, I just might get that sequel one day. I just might because I've been looking into getting more retro games for my PlayStation 2. So you never know. I might end up getting Thrillville off the rails and maybe a couple others. <sighs> this game. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. Next one on the list is TMNT, the video game based off of the, I believe it was the 2006 or 2007 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. I like the game. I used to rent this game. Actually, I rented it a couple times from Family Video back in the day on the GameCube. And I got to like, I think it was Donatello. I think I got to like his levels and then I just stopped because I kind of gave up. But I mean, it's a fun game. It really is. It's it's different. You know, I'll say that the least. It's, it's you know, and I'm gonna combine two because I'm getting tired and I'm getting hungry, getting angry. So I'm gonna combine these two. Tony Hawk's Project 8 and Tony Hawk's Underground 2. Both really good skating games. And I'm a big Tony Hawk, like, video game person. You know, this has just a generic, you know, those generic game cases you get at game stores. But this one has the actual back, you know, with him and looks like Bam Margera on there and stuff on the back. So you can see that one. But, like, both of these games are really good. This, I felt like, was ahead of its time. This wasn't. You know, and I have the first Underground on the on the GameCube, so I don't know why I didn't get this on the GameCube, but this I used to play. I played this one more than this one, and I don't know why, but like I said, this was ahead of its time, but I don't think a lot of people really like this one, I don't think. I did, you know, but the Pro Skater are always going to be my favorite, except the fifth one. I refuse to get the fifth one because the fifth one looks really terrible, and it has nothing but bad reviews. And not only, I'm not, I refuse, I don't know, I don't say I refuse to play it because it has bad reviews, but I just don't want to play it because it looks really bad and I prefer the old school ones. All right, last but not least, uh, the, the most recent PlayStation 2 game I got that I added to my collection is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Red Rose. Duelist of the Roses. This game's hard as shit. You want, you want to talk about, you want to talk about a game that's fun? It's fun, but it's hard as sh you know? I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys, oh man, yeah. no, this is, it's a really good game. It is a really good Yu-Gi-Oh game. Probably one of the best Yu-Gi-Oh games that you can get. And I like Yu-Gi-Oh, I really do. I was a late bloomer to Yu-Gi-Oh, but I really like Yu-Gi-Oh. And that is definitely a game that I would highly recommend getting for your PlayStation 2 collection, but it is hard as sh Alrighty guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys, at least got inspired to get some of these games to add to your collection or to even start a playstation 2 collection literally the playstation 2 is honestly it's my baby it's one of my favorite consoles that i own to this day i would refuse to get rid of it to this day i no matter what happens i'm not getting rid of it it's a fun console i hope you guys at least found some of these games interesting that you would probably want to pick up yourself some of these you can get fairly cheap now and then there are some that are going to be really expensive I'll tell you right now, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 
it's definitely gonna be a hard one to find because people are gonna rip you off and probably charge you like a hundred and some dollars for the game. But all right guys, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed. Leave a comment, I always like to read comments. Don't forget to turn on that post notification bell so that way you know when I get notified for uploading videos. And you can also set it for personalized so that way you get notified whenever I upload every other video. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and SoundCloud. All links in the description below. Don't forget to check out my Afro Geek Plus Ultra Nappy channel. I hope everyone is staying safe and staying inside during this quarantine. You know, we all gotta do our part, wash your hands. Stay, you know, the six feet apart, social distance, and just stay inside and stay safe. I am Pokemon 1086, and your boy is out of here.